No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. This is not your. Can you identify yourself? No. Cocky not to boy. You. Not to Cocky you. boy. Not that to is. me. Can you identify leave yourself? It, Cocky You're boy. On body one camera, obviously trespassing. Yeah. Cocky the boy. Property. We all leave you. Yeah, yeah go on, do one. Creeping up on me. Shit me up then. Huh? Yes. Here, at least you're smiling. Always. What's it like here? Is it a friendly prison? It's alright, yeah. Staff and that. Are you going in, mate? Yeah. I'm only going to be here till about four, I and mean, then I'm going if anyone asks. I'm just taking some videos and doing a little documentary. Bloody hell. Literally, literally. Thought that guy was gonna jump me then. <laughs> I couldn't turn my camera on quick enough. Now I'm recording you, because you've interrupted with me. From where? I'm just cutting through. You shouldn't be in this car park. Uh, you can get out through that gate. Oh, sweet. Back onto the main thing, but you shouldn't be in this Yeah, car that's park. all I'm asking you. Right. Could, could I get out? Right. There's a, because what is it? Your gate's open, so I just came in. No, no, it's an open gate, but this is a staff car park, so it shouldn't ah, be in here. Right. But it's open, so... Yeah, it shouldn't be in here. There's no sign up says it shouldn't be in here, mate. You can't get out there. Yeah. It does say staff only. Yeah, but it doesn't say no trespassing or no members of public. I think it's pretty expensive. Not necessarily. If you've got dyslexia and you can't read, mate, then you're not going to know, are you? You what? Get out of here, it's not a problem, back onto the main road. Yeah, well I have going to the main road, but cheers. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Alder in Yorkshire. So we are at HMP Hull, we finally got here. Uh, the, it's quite a big prison I think this one, it goes all the way around I thought this might have been one of those little um, prison road type things You know with some vehicles and stuff up and down but it's not Because there's a post box here And there's a sign there what says cyclists please dis uh, cyclists dismount GR uh, so yeah, it's it's all uh, public right away. So there's a sign there which says no entry to the general public, but there is not one at the other side. There's some kind of a little garden here. Just thought I'd have a quick look round, scope the place out before I get into the story. Hey, it's a nice building, isn't it? The governor's original residence. HM Prison Probation Service, Yorkshire Regional Litigation Team. Yeah, I think that's probation house. Get a, get a picture of that on there. Uh, then I'll come back to you. In fact, I'll just do a little, I might as well just get the front while I'm here and then take a few pictures. So we've got a nice little castle style type front roof bit. With a nice old fashioned clock on there. Uh, HM Prison Service, Public Sector Prisons, HMP Hull, serving our community. There's your no drone signs. There's your door. Your prison vans. I think they're already on phone to business already. 
that's your public, uh, that's your uh, Prison Act 1952 information. So if you remember guys, it, so Prison Act 1952 covers to assist a prisoner to escape or attempt to escape, the maximum penalty is 10 years. Uh, there's some other stuff and uh, oh yeah the bottom bit that's interesting so without authorization to possess inside a prison a mobile telephone or any device capable of transmitting or receiving images sounds or information by electronic communications or take a restricted document out of a prison uh, maximum penalty is two years imprisonment with an unlimited fine And then there's just some driver information. So remember guys, the, uh, it's inside the prison, not on the outside. This is our public footpath. Serval badge, the chaplain's original residence. quite interesting so it's um HMP and young offenders it is illegal to fly or land a UAV drone over a prison wall and it is illegal to use a UAV drone to convoy or drop items into a prison offenders will be prosecuted under section 79 of the serious crimes act 2015 the maximum penalty of two years imprisonment and unlimited fine or both will be sought you may also be prosecuted for breaching the Civil Aviation Authority Air Navigation Order, 2009. Uh, visitors entrance. I think that's locked. So you see, if we took a look at this, open. They, they talk about places being sensitive. Well, sensitive areas and stuff like that. And then we're going to leave gates open. So we can blur images out on vehicles if there's any privacy concerns, that's not a problem. I've had to do it in the past. Don't mind doing it again if I have to. Just a sign about thieves operating in the area. It's sort of like at the back. Crazy, yeah? I mean, I've got a feeling police are on the way already because I saw the prison officer on the phone as they were talking outside. The front door, just more pits out there. So I'll be switching off in a minute, guys, and coming back to you, and taking my pictures. So what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get some pictures of this bit here and round front, and then we're gonna go for a walk down there and see where that leads us, guys. So I'll come back to you very soon <coughs> right let's get some info on this place guys and then uh, we'll get cracking right lads hey mate you alright? yeah yeah you don't know your private property pal? Uh, I spoke to one of the chaps mate you know around the other car park one of them were a bit arsy and he's like, oh, he can't be in here. He can't, man. The other guy I spoke to. It's property of the Crown. Just so you know, I've got my body-worn camera on, obviously, you've got yours on. Yeah, yeah. Ask you to leave the ground. No, I'm not leaving. I've, I'm here to do a documentary and I've, I've come 80 miles, mate. So huh? I have, I've come 80 miles. You're on Crown property. So I am, I am going to do the documentary. Um, it's... I mean, it's open. There's an implied right of access, that, mate, mate, which allows me to come in. You to, your gates are open. We're to ask you to leave the car park. Yeah. Uh, is this not like 
Yeah, yeah this is like a through fare, like a right away roll. Pardon? Like where where does it lead? Does it go all the way around prison? No, you can't, man. It. Out the other side. You can't the other side either. No, does it lead out the other no. side? That, that's as far as you can go, but it's probably some right Well you can keep an army at Camry. No, it's property of the crown, you're not allowed to be in here. Yeah. Man. Well I am. You're not, man. Uh, I'm not leaving. Seriously. I've come 80 miles to do a documentary. The police um, will be on the way. I've done 15 you? prisons. The police will be on the this way. This is my 16th. All we're saying is the police will be on the way. All right, well, you will. You'll be leaving off the, off the property. You will be leaving the property. I ain't scared of police. Okay. Police can't remove me anywhere. Sure. Police can't physically remove me. I'm not committing an offence. What documentary are you doing? What are you doing? Hey? What you, what's the documentary? What are you doing? Matters of public interest. What? It is proud property, you are trespassing. Right, well, you obviously, I'm going to say this in the nicest possible way. You're getting paid now to do a job, so go do that job. Lead me to my own devices yeah. because it's in your code of practice not to approach people like me anywhere. You're not allowed to no. do it, it's prison policy. So I'll wait for coppers, they'll know where I am, tell them I'm down here doing my documentary, and uh, possibly see you guys on the way out, okay? I'm not taking any pictures of cars at all, so you don't have to panic. It's so live recordings, isn't it? You're not going no further than that, man. Mate, well, why not? You can't go any further, pal. Why not? Because you said so. It's proud property, isn't it? Right, but... You Stop it. Don't touch me. Well, you, you don't walk anywhere, what's the chair? You're a trespassing. You don't walk anywhere. Unwanted contact is assault. So don't touch me. I'm contact you, I'm standing in front of you. Right, now you're restricting my liberty. You're restricting my this right of movement. property. You are restricting property. my right of movement. No, you are not. restricting you my liberty. You haven't got a right to there. wander around the prison grounds. Yes, I have. There's no, you an implied right of access. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. This is not your. Can you identify local? yourself? No. Cocky not to boy. You. Not to Cocky you. boy. Not to That's... me. Can you identify leave yourself? It, Cocky boy. You're on body camera, obviously trespassing yeah. the property. Cocky boy. We'll leave you. Yeah, go on, do one. See you later. So you're just trying to interrogate. No, you don't want to identify yourself. So piss off. I'll leave this way. Yeah, the police will. Right. At least this guy's got some brain cells. Right, you two are Muppets, he's all right. Come on, he's free, sir. Yeah, because you're Muppets. <laughs> no need for that, guys. At least the other guy had some brain cells and he decided to, you know, just leave it. He's got a body worn camera on. Just leave it, let the police deal with it, and that's what we should have done anyway. So. Anyway, guys, HP Hull is a category B men's local prison located in Kingston upon, Kingston upon Hull in England. The term local means that this prison holds people on remand. To the local courts. Uh, the prison is operated by His Majesty's Prison Service. Now, the population is it's a little over a thousand guys, 1,044, and it opened in 1870. Uh, Sean Mycroft is the governor. Looks like someone else is walking down to have a word with me. So a cocky boy didn't want to identify himself, did I? And the other guy was infringing my human rights by standing in my way, not letting me move. So what I was going to do is ask him if I'll being detained. And then see what happens after that. But I do currently have a, have a civil claim going on with HMP Berwyn for the officer who wouldn't let me walk away, wouldn't let me move, kept standing in front of me where, just like that guy, I now have a civil claim against that prison. They'll never learn, will they? Right, so, whole prison opened in 1870 and is of a typical Victorian design, Ethel Major was the last person and the only woman to be executed at Hull in 1934. She had been convicted of the murder of her husband. An exhibition within these walls follows the prison's history from 1299 to 1934. The exhibition was designed and created by Officer Rob Nicholson 
and officially opened by Lawrence Major, Ethel's grandson. Right guys, I've got a feeling that's gonna lead all the way back round. And to be honest, I mean, I'm gonna be getting drawn up anyway. Can I really be bothered walking all the way around? Cause what if it's like at Buckley Hall? When I get so far around them, there's a steel gate. Sorry, not Buckley, Nottingham. So I think I'm going to turn back round, guys. I don't want to get blocked off at the other end and then have nowhere to escape. So in 1976, Hull Prison was involved in a three day riot by inmates of the prison. Sorry guys, I'm just checking the battery on my GoPro. So yeah, there was a three day riot by inmates at prison. Over a hundred prisoners were involved in a protest that erupted over staff brutality. Well, I can believe that after dealing with them two Muppets. The riots ended peacefully on 3rd September 1976 but over two thirds of the prison was destroyed with an estimated repair cost of three to four million pound. The prison was closed for a year while repairs were carried out. Disciplinary proceedings following the riots led to a number of legal challenges. God, I'm boiling. Absolutely sweating. Got me big hoodie on my cap and my mask. The prison was removed from the high security estate in 1985 and became a local prison holding inmates remanded and sentenced by courts in the area. In 2002 a major expansion was completed making the prison more modern rather than Victorian which added four new wings, a new gymnasium, a new healthcare centre and a multi-faith centre. In January 13, the Ministry of Justice announced that older parts of Hull Prison will close with a reduction of 282 places at the prison. In April 14, the Ministry of Justice announced that they will, will be bought, brought back into use as the prison population is currently above published projections. After writing, at H, uh, after writing at Birmingham Prison in December 16, some prisoners were transferred from Birmingham to Hull. The disturbances were reported at h and Hull. I think police are here. 14th of September 18, staff at h and Hull, along with many other prisoners across the country, walked out under protest due to health and safety conditions across the prison estate. The protest was amid fears of rising violence, wanting safety improvements and a reduction in violence and overcrowding. In January 19, it was announced that H&P Hull will be one of 10 prisons chosen for body scanners, which aims to reduce drugs and violence while improving standards in the country's most challenging jails, providing a template for the wider estate. And in January 21, it was reported that H&P Hull had been dealing with a huge COVID-19 outbreak, which saw around 80 prisoners and staff struck down by the virus. You what? Huh? Eh? Like being filmed? Yes. Well, you're well within your right to film me, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Just like vice versa. Yeah, yeah, there's so, no problem with that. I mean, please run away. Yeah. So I don't want to go back to the main Please, no. It's fine. Police don't scare me, pal. I'm, not, I'm not trying to scare you. Police can't do it. anything to me. I'm not committing a crime, mate. But you are actually trespassing. I'm not. Trespassing's not a crime. It's a civil matter. Okay. Okay. There's an implied right of access, section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. Your gates are wide open. Well, shut your gates then. Shut your gates, put one in a locking system. You press a button in your office. The police are coming anyway. 
and Hi. you don't have to get off your ass to come and let visitors in. Well, I'm giving you some advice, mate. It's really good advice, trust me. I'm a smart guy, mate. I'd listen to what I say if I were you. All right. So you're going to move out of my way because I'm actually leaving this part of the prison yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, of course yeah. There you go. Um, where's Muppet? Go on. Go on. Won't identify yourself to me. Don't know what you mean. Mate. Do any of you guys want to identify? Who, uh, who, who the hell are you all? I mean, did you get your coffee? Who are you, coffee? officer? Did you get them on eBay? Come on. Who are you? Did you get your uniforms on eBay? Come on. No. I'm a you? member at public, but who are you? So are we. So identify yourself. It's in your policy. Yes, it is. Do you know what else is in your policy as well? Uh, your code of practice. Not to approach people like me. So, so you've approached me, you've interacted with me, you've engaged with me. Don't know how many other ways I can say it, right? Rub them brain cells together, my friend. Let the penny drop, right? So you're not going to identify yourself? Okay, no problem. I've not finished, but I'm finishing. I've finished in this little bit here. What is it with you on police, dude? Are you like, are you a failed police wannabe or something? No, I'm not. I've never joined the All right. Well, that's good to know. That's very good to know. I'd have actually been polite and, and open and transparent with you. No, I would have been polite, open and transparent if, you, if them two guys didn't infringe my human rights. If they hadn't have infringed my human rights, we'd, we'd be talking on a different level. I was there, they didn't infringe no human rights. They did, they stood in front of me. Right, listen to me, listen to me. They asked you to leave. When I went to walk that way, he was told not and to he stood in front police. of me, he was told by the he was blocking. And you're he was blocking my way. He's infringing my rights. No, he was told by the police. I'm actually suing. Big lad, are you going to listen I'm to me? I'm suing now? a prison in Wales for right, doing the up. exact same thing. So do you want to keep arguing with me we're not, we're not arguing. and no, thinking not arguing. you're right? Because you're, you're, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. Yeah, I know. Right, so he was infringing my human rights. Okay. Yeah. So he was defending. The I have freedom of movement, and he was stopping that. The police had informed him to defend the crowd's property. Okay. I was just asking you to leave. I know what I'm doing, my friend. I do. I know what I'm doing more than you. What you're trying to do is antagonise people. There's no point. No, not. For 25 views, is there? 20, 20, 25 on, views? Man, yeah, please leave. 25 views? Mate, we've got a regime to run. Please right. leave. Right, a day ago, I put a video on. Nah, mate, we'll right. talk about outside the A game. day ago, so the staff and it got 75,000 views in Fantastic. a day. Fantastic. Right? Let's leave. So, we'll chat about it 25 outside. views? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Come on. Mate. You obviously don't know nothing, do you? I don't want to talk to you anyway. I'm going. I'm finishing my story, okay? Well, stop wasting your taxpayers' money. I'm sure you've got jobs to do. Don't keep putting your hand out. Right, you can ask me. You don't You don't use your hand to ask me, do you? Right? Stop wasting taxpayers' money. You've got to do your job. Right? Go on. You as well, coach. Go on, go do your job. Shoe. Shoe. It's not your job. This is not your job. Do you not have, do you not have security? Do you not have security on site? Who? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? It's you. You're not security though. You're a prison officer. It's a different thing. It's a different job type. Yes, it is. You are not security. In your contract of employment, does it stay? Does it stay prison officer or prison whatever else or security guard? You're not security guards. Do you have an SIA license? Of course you don't, because it would be a conflict of interest. You wouldn't be allowed one. Therefore, you are not security guards. So jog on and go do your job. We are on public paths. I am on public paths, so go away then. Jog on, you're making yourself look like an idiot. Yeah, with your little baton. Are you even allowed one of them batons? You're allowed them? Says who? Law. All oh, right, I look that up because I'm not 100. percent I don't know everything. I'm not a complete smart ass. Yeah, but, but you're a proper little Bobby wannabe, you aren't you? Really With your little I've body cam and your little handcuffs. Never been interested. Your little CS gas. It's not CS gas. That's what you're eh? It's not CS gas. Just what is it? Fiber, fiber gel. Yeah, keep, keep it Keep my, I'll come up to the gate for one. What is it? Fiber gel. But what is it then? Water. Holy water. Holy water. Yeah, holy water. Your little radio and your little button. You're a proper copper wannabe, you aren't you? Uh, yeah. Cop little proper copper wannabe. You've even got tattoos to go with it. I've got tattoos here. I've got loads of tattoos. And muppet little haircut. Nice. I'm growing me You don't like it. And then you've got big man there stuck with his arms crossed, acting like he's hard. 
<laughs> You're all right, hands and pockets. You're not too bad yourself, buddy. I'm all right, me, mate. Listen, I've done 15 oh, prisons. Job, then. 15 prisons. Oh, I've seen you and I've, I did an open prison last week. I've seen your content. You can be a little bit more informative. And me, guys, no problem. You can make some. That's funny, I've, I've seen nothing, Johnny. What do you mean you've seen no, my content? Seen what content? I've seen nothing. Who, who, who said out about YouTube? I make these documentaries for, for myself, for matters of public interest. I've, I never mentioned YouTube. Yeah, I did. Well, well you, saying, that's your, that's saying, your prerogative then, isn't it? I came out last year just to leave the problem. Well, listen, I'm happy now. I got approached in that car park when I first came, and that there, prison man. officer Shouldn't said to me, there. I went, bloody hell, mate, shit me up, you didn't have to keep up. And he went, oh, ninja style, and laughed. And I went, if you're going back inside, mate, tell him I'll be about half an hour, but I'm going. And he went, yeah, no problem. So I take it was a lack of communication and he had told you. He told me, yeah. But oh, right, so what are you bothering me for then? That's all I've asked you, now you've left. You're free I'm not taking you. pictures of your cars. I'm not you're recording your cars. Right, yeah. Eh? You are filming. Yeah, but I'm filming the prison. No, you're not allowed oh, to. Oh, yeah, I am allowed well, because, you know, the pic you know your prison, your picture of your prison, it's in the yeah. public domain. So why am I not allowed to? From there you are, mate. Why, well, is it top nobody's secret? Nobody's said anything to you now you're past that point, are they? But I could stand in there and record. No, I can. Yeah. Why can't I? It's crown property. Yeah, but it's not it's not inside the prison. Oh, it's crown property. It doesn't matter. Crown property, our property, we pay taxes. Tell you what, these coppers are in no rush to get here, have they? Probably won't. Yeah, probably won't, mate. You've wasted your time bringing them. I've done what I've done, I've done my job and my process, and you spoke about processes yeah, and doing the job but properly. I'll be honest with I you. Protect the staff, aren't I there? Listen, I'll be honest with you. Right, can you just do me a favour? Right? Yeah. Because I've only really spoken to you and had a nice conversation with you, haven't I? I'll do, I'll so can you just do your job and identify yourself to me? I'm CM John, so I'm the officer for today at HMP. More than happy to. Right. I'll do you know what, earlier in the day to leave the property. Right. Listen to me. body one camera. Listen to me. You have, I'm not being rude, but you've redeemed yourself. You've redeemed this prison. Because, you, because you've been professional and you've, idea, and you've done what you're meant to be doing. That's what I'm saying, mate. I know it's a good prison. HMP Hatfield yeah, Open Prison, yeah. that's a good prison. They're all good prisons. Most prisons are good prisons, and that's what I go, that's why I go and I do a documentary and I highlight the goodness and the badness. Contact the press office and they'll assist you. Yeah, but I don't need to. You don't. I don't because, I, why do I need, this is what the police say, contact the press office, why do we need to do that? Just for more informative content, you be followers. Yeah, but we make, we create our own content, that's why the callers create the content creators. It would be better if it was factual. And we're not breaking law. You was that, you're not down my mate, you're totally not. You well, we wasn't. You was it's man, a civil mate. matter, mate. It is a civil matter, yeah. So you'd have, to, you'd, have, court, you'd have to take me to court. Why would you want to do that? Because if you genuinely want me just to do my job, I just want to do my job, I've got to protect the staff, so but, come out here. And you, you've you're not the landowner here, anyway, so, so you can't even trespass, mate. You're not my mate. You, you can't even trespass me because you don't own the place, you're not the landowner. Who's the landowner? Oh, my mate. King, The king, but. So it. Like, it's HM Prison, so the Crown will own the prison, but the, the land, what the prison is on, do, do, does the prison own the land as well? Or, the crown own, yeah. Or does somebody else? The crown own. So the Crown owns the land and the prison? So do us a favour then, because you just out the car parks for today, we'll go in and look after the lads inside, get the best quality service we can, and you'll do your content from the public paths, yeah? Yeah, yeah but I never asked you to come out. No, I know, but staff did, because they felt threatened by a guy in the balaclava. I've well, just got over COVID, moment, mate. As you obviously well know, risks I, are heightened. I had moment. COVID for a week. Yeah. So you're happy to stay on a public path? But, yeah, but it didn't need four of you, did it? I, I seven. Threatened. Seven about ten minutes ago. I brought two, but you were threatened. threatened. I was using them, so I felt threatened, so I brought follow Get away yeah, from me. I did, man. Mate, yeah, mate yeah, you're bigger than me. Nah, it doesn't matter about that. What do you mean you felt? I was making threats I want, so I felt threatened. I won't make you threats. Are you happy to stay on the path? Hang on, what hang on, what threats were we making? Thank you, man. What? I've got everything on camera. I want making threats. If, if police do come, I'm just going to send them back into you so they can find out what, what threats I've been making, all right? Cheers, lads. Right, guys, that was fun. That's the history lesson over with. So the prison today, Hull is a local prison holding remand sentenced and convicted males. Uh, 
Prisoners are employed in the workshops, kitchens, gardens and waste, waste management departments. Education classes are also available to the prisoners. HMP Hull, uh, the, the Within These Walls exhibition, which uh, charts the history of Hull's prison from 19, uh, sorry, 20, 1299 through to the present day. The exhibition was created by Officer Rob Nicholson and opened in 2011. I wonder if I'll be able to get a tour for that. Right guys, let's just um, jump into some notable inmates. So, Charles Bronson, he used to be in this place. Uh, you know, the guy who, uh, who went in Wakefield and is now at um, HMP Woodhill. Um, this conviction, armed, armed, armed robbery, wounding, wounding with intent, criminal damage, gr uh, GBH, false imprisonment, blackmail, threatening to kill. Muppets. Uh, we've got Paul Sykes. Now, Paul Sykes is a um, is a British heavyweight boxer, weightlifter. Um, <coughs> one term fights. Sorry, he had ten fights. One six, uh, one four by KO. Lost three and drew one. He was um, one of the most difficult prisoners in the UK throughout the 70s and 80s. By 1990, he had spent 21 out of his 26 years of life in 18 prisons for, um, for many violent acts against prison officers and police officers. Uh, Sykes committed violent offences all over the north of England and was very well known to locals and the police in Leeds, Liverpool, Blackpool, Hull and Rotherham. Oh, Robert Morsley spent some time in here. So we all know Robert Morsley is, but for those who don't, he's an English serial killer who killed four people with one of the killings taking place in a psychiatric hospital and two in prisons after receiving a life sentence for murder. Three counts of murder, one count of manslaughter, total deaths. Um, four. And he is famous for, let me just try and find it, come back to you. Anyway, I can't remember exactly where it, it it killed people but um he was sentenced to life in prison anyway with recommendations that he never be released in 1978 Marsley killed two fellow prisoners at wakefield prison in one day he had originally set out to kill seven his first victim was salni darwood in prison for killing his wife and one of the prisons took uh, one of the killings uh, took place uh, in a psychiatric hospital uh, initial re initial reports uh, falsely stated he ate part of somebody's brain of one of the men he killed, which ate, which earned him the nickname Hannibal the Cannibal, and he is now in solitary confinement at Monster Mansion in Wakefield. And we've got Stephen Christopher Yaxley Lennon, born in 1982, better known as Tommy Robinson. He is a British um, far-right anti-Islam activist and is convicted on multiple counts of violence and fraud as well as other crimes. He is the co-founder and former leader of the English Defence League, that's EDL in short, and later served as a political advisor to a former UK IP leader, Gerald Batten. So yeah guys, any more information you need or if you know anybody who's in here, or come in here. Uh, all the information is online at HP Hull on the gov.uk website. There's telephone numbers, there's information about travel, um, the help with meals and places to stay overnight. I think pretty much most prisons do that nowadays anyway. There's a lot of blue lights and sirens but no police. So 
That pretty much wraps it up, guys. That pretty much wraps it up. There's only one thing left to do now. That's get the judge out. So we're gonna we're gonna get high in the sky. We're gonna check where the um, geo zone is, restrictions and things. It's all right. Just you know, don't slow down from here, out, will you, Muppet? Probably my fault standing in road, but you know what they say: pedestrians have right away when in a road. Yeah, Muppet. So yeah, gonna get the judge out, guys. And I'm gonna wrap it up. Right guys, we're just about to uh, go up into the sky. I've done the three flight checks. Uh, Takeoff is permitted. I just thought I'd show you very quickly, as I always do, where the geo zone is. So it's actually, it's, it's at the back there. I mean, it comes round to the front, which is where we are. Um, the front door is there. And we are on, we're just on the bit of path the bit of public path what comes out of their boundary uh, uh, and back into you know the public boundary uh, it, it, that don't make sense because that bit is public if you know what I mean uh, but yeah we're well out of the geo zone guys so we're going to go straight up to 400 feet and get some aerial shots We're nowhere near the geo zone now. Uh, so yeah, 65 feet. That's round at the front. It's got a beautiful, you know, front entrance. Really nice. And then you've kind of got this bit in the middle here. That leads. Oh yeah, so it meets in the middle and then splits off into wings and then there's some more stuff back there all that's part of geo zone as well another building here i imagine there'll be like places to work and visitor centers and all that stuff like where all your gardening stuff is oh still no still no sign of the 5-0 guys still no sign of the 5-0 I'm just saying for 24 minutes In there. Oh yeah, that's in side car park, I think. When I came in, I walk, I went up the side of that wall. So there's that little road thing that we were talking about. Yeah, oh yeah, oh that's on the outside, but further up. I think that's just additional parking. That house there, or whatever that building is, I'm not, I'm not too sure what that is, but we are going to film on, on, you know, the way out anyway, back round the side and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, I mean, overall, it's, it's not a bad looking prison for what it is. Do you know what I mean? So, that's HMP um, Hold guys. I'll come back to you. You all right? Yeah, Where's your black armband? Yeah. Where's your black armband? You're not meant to wear armbands? No. Official state morning's over now. Oh, we're just fucked there. 
No, no, the uh, 10 days for um, state mourning, extra seven days for royal family. No, didn't, 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 royal, didn't royal male mem um, staff members get issued with black armbands? No. No? No. As I saw a video on TikTok yeah. where somebody said they did. No, we, well, we did because to be honest with you, although the company still bears the badge of the Royal Mail, yeah. it's not actually Royal Mail anymore because it's a private company. Is it a private company now? Yeah, they were privatised five years ago, so oh. they're owned by shareholders. Ah, oh, I never knew that. So to be quite honest with you, all the, 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 they retained the badge and the name yeah. purely because the name and the badge is like 100 years or, or old, and that gives the name a bit more value, the company a bit more value. But right. it's actually owned by private shareholders now. I get, I get what you mean now. So, yeah. so when Royal Mail uh, drivers, because do you know what? I bet, I bet half of these traffic wardens don't know because they leave you alone, don't they? Yeah. Well, we're we're actually entitled. We'll let you park where you want. We can park on double yellow light. We can't park in a disabled bay. Oh, why can't... not? Please do it. Yeah, no, but we can't, and we're not allowed in bus lanes either. And the park on paths. Yeah, yeah. We can park on double yellow lines. Oh, we... Oldersfield. Do you know yeah. Oldersfield? Yeah. Over there last, uh, a month ago, let me get out of the road. I keep forgetting it's a road. <laughs> it is, yeah. Over there a month ago, I swear to God, every path you could see were cop cars parked on it. Yeah. Right? Mm. I started taking pictures, the inspector came out, mm. asked what I were doing, I said, well, taking pictures. Um, he gave me a load of shit. Long story short, I called him a muppet and he arrested me. Mad, isn't it? It's mad. Uh, now, we can, we can park here, like on the other lands. Traffic wardens leave us alone, but if they ask right. us to move, we've got to. We're not allowed to give them any lip. Even, when, even though we oh, know right. we're in well, the right. Initially, um, I came over to you to ask mm -hmm. you, because um, I'm a content creator, right. so I didn't come, out, I didn't come over no, to be no, sarcastic it's fine. or to no. have a go at you. No. Um, I came over to ask you because uh, knowledge is power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, information, things we don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good to know, isn't it? Don't the, you only, think? the only thing Royal Mail did for us was, outside of oh, every Royal Mail office, they, they always fly the Union Jack. All right. And the only, only thing they did was they lowered the Union Jack. There should be one up here somewhere. Whoa. Where's their Union Jack? Yeah, normally, normally they have them on, on, on a prison. But yeah, Royal Mail, they have a Union Jack. That was put at half-mast. Yeah. And there was flowers left outside. Well, it's the Union flag now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Union flag. But uh, but no, if you have a look at Royal Mail now, there's actually um, a Czechoslovakian or Czech... Yeah, I think he's a Czech. A multi-millionaire businessman. Yeah. And the UK government is trying to stop him from buying any more Royal Mail shares. Oh, right. Because he's got links to the gas company that's owned by Russia. Oh, really? And they don't want a Russian billionaire owning the Royal Mail. That's mental. So, but uh, anyway, I'll leave you to it, buddy. Yeah, see you later, my <laughs> friend. See you later. <coughs> Take care, won't you? Right guys, we are back on the ground. There is no Union flag. Should be at half mast, but there, is, there isn't one. How disrespectful, eh? We do have a GOA in my van though. And I've got a feeling we ain't gonna open them doors and let him in until I stop filming. Oh. No, I'm wrong, we're opening them. So this is the last bit of HMP Hull. Being here way, way longer than uh, way longer than anticipated. I thought I'd be here about an hour, but I've been here about 90 minutes. So, do you know where your flag's gone? No, that Muppet don't want to talk to me either. Well, a set of Muppets in here, aren't you? Go on, get yourself home. Muppet. There we are. So, we're gonna go to the next location. There's not what you can see anyway. I don't know why they always say, oh, you can't, you can't film in there, you can't, do you know what I mean? There's not to see anywhere. Concrete wall. Do you work in here as well, pal? No. No one talk around here, like. Honestly, never in my life have I count encountered so many rude people. 
Oh look, no entry to public at to public. Well, we're going anywhere, so it don't matter. And this is the bit I wanted to show you on the way out. So you've got your bike sheds. Whatever that building is there. And then we're just gonna leave for some smoking shelters over there. And well, that's it, we're done. Drone sign. I think, I, do you know what? I'm, I, I can't even remember if I filmed all this up way around. I'm cracking up. You know this won't be going straight on YouTube, don't you guys? Don't want any privacy complaints coming through from little cry babies. Anyway guys, I am gonna I am gonna offski. Um <coughs> it's been an overall good experience to be honest. There's some good good information and good background on this prison. Just a shame about the staff what work here. Uh, got some good knowledge of the history, present, notable inmates, gone, gone a bit more into deal, de detail with notable inmates today. We've got some nice aerial uh, footage and that's it, it's time to go. Oh, and the police never showed up. So guys, you know what to do, smash that like button, hit that notification bell for future and upcoming content. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'll be very, very grateful. And I will see you all in the next one. Yeah. Yeah.